The concept of ratio is very important in our daily life. And most of the time, we are making comparison of the two quantities on the basis of their number, how they are greater than or less than from each other um, uh, in, in comparison to each, of each other. Let's take, uh, let's discuss the definition of the ratio so that you can have a clear concept of what is a ratio. It has been defined differently by different people at various places. So let's see how it is defined. Ratio is basically defined as a numerical comparison between the two quantities between the two quantities of same kind. This is one of the definition as defined by at, uh, at various places. Um, uh, that uh, numerical comparison. Numerical means a comparison based on the numbers, and there must be we we uh, we must have two quantities for the comparison to be made, and they they should be of the same kind as uh, their unit should be same so that uh, they can be their ratio can be find out. Okay, another definition is. Comparison of two numbers or two quantities. This is the shortest definition. The handiest one. Comparison of two numbers or two quantities. Of two numbers or two quantities. This is the easiest one. That does not specify any specific condition as we have discussed in the above. Um, as we were discussing the above definition, another definition of ratio is relationship between two numbers, two numbers that between two numbers that. defines the quantity of first the quantity of first in comparison to the second of first in comparison to second now it is clear from all the three definition that they are focusing on the same one thing that is the relationship, the comparison in the two number, in the two numbers. It means we must have two numbers in order to find out the ratio. We must have two numbers should be of the same kind, and it should be between the two numbers. And it is the basically the comparison between the two quantities. Let's take an example so that we can have its clear concept. Let's take a general life example, the daily life example. For example, someone said, you have a class, okay, that uh, a classroom in where there are, where there are four girls, four girls, a classroom consists of four girls, and two boys and two boys okay so we have a classroom where there are four girls and two boys and we have to find what is the ratio of girls to boys so you have to find the ratio of girls to boys ratio of girls to boys keep one thing in mind when we have written 
girls to boys it means that we must keep in mind the comparison is being is being made from girls to boys where all that is very important if we are say that the ratio of girls to boys is equal to the boys to girls it is not correct so keep the thing in mind that all that is very important so the above example can be written as the number of girls is 4 and the number of boys are 2 means 4 to 2 means 4 to 2 it can be written in the form of ratio as 4 is to this is the sign of ratio 4 is to 2 okay it means 4 is to 2 4 ratio 2 you can write it as or you can call it as 4 ratio 2 it means the ratio between the girls and boys girls and boys in a classroom is 4 is to 2 now we will see how many girls are there for the boys as we have written as there is a ratio of 4 to 2 it can be reduced further as we can uh, we can reduce it further as 2 is to 1 as both of them are divisible by 2 so it can be written as 2 is to 1 it means for every two girls this ratio means for every for every two girls we have one boy we have one boy so this ratio is showing a comparison of 2 is to 1 it means that there are for every two girls there is a one boy so this is the concept of this was the concept of the ratio when we have to compare the two quantities of the same kind where the two quantities were the girls and the boys okay so we can also have another example for to understand its concept more clearly that how we can find out the ratio of uh, the uh, ratio of any two objects let's take another example what is the ratio of so means what is the ratio of cherries to bananas cherries to bananas okay so let's make the cherries here okay we have cherries 1 2 3 4 and 5 then we have the banana as 1 2 three, 3 bananas so we can write it as i can write it here as cherries when we want to find the ratio we will write it as cherries as we have to find the cherries to bananas so we will write cherries first and then bananas okay the number of cherries are here are Five, so we will write as five, and the number of bananas are three. We will write it here as three, and we will write ratio here. It means the ratio of cherries to bananas is five ratio three. So this is the ratio of ratio of cherries. to bananas okay if i will say that find out the ratio of bananas to cherries okay if i if i will say find out the relationship uh, the ratio of bananas to cherries so is is it uh, right to uh, is it uh, right to, uh, to say that it is also five ratio to no the ratio of ratio of bananas to cherries will be 
will be 3 ratio 5 because the number of bananas are 3 and the number of cherries are 5. So we will write the first the number of bananas and then the number of cherries as the, as the order is very much important in while uh, we have to find out the ratios. Okay, let's take another example. Now a little bit complicated so that you uh, may not have any ambiguity in understanding this concept. For example, we have a um, where we have an example where Harry and Harry and John bought a pencil. Okay, bought a pencil for six dollars. Okay, Harry paid. How much? Harry paid four dollars out of six. And John paid two dollar out of six. Now here, what is the ratio between the two amounts? We have to find the ratio between the two amounts. What is the ratio? Okay, the ratio will be find as the Harry paid. We will write it as Harry paid. Ratio John paid. It doesn't matter what we are writing before here because we have to find the ratio between the two rather than we are saying that uh, what is the ratio of Harry to John or John to Harry. Here we can write it Harry or John first as we uh, feel convenient. Okay, Harry paid four dollars and John paid. Dollars. Okay, we can write it in in a form as both of them are divisible by two. So it is further reduced in a way that it can be written as two dollar and it can be written as one dollar. It means the ratio between the ratio between the two is two is to one. It means for every two dollar of Harry, John paid one dollar. For every two dollar of Harry, for every two dollar of Harry, John paid one dollar. Okay. It is clear from the from here also that then uh, when we have to make the Comparison between the yeah, between the two quantities. So how can we make it easily even in terms of the payments? So it, this example has also play, cleared the concept. Let's take a further example to find out the ratios. For example. We have a value x here, here value y, and here x ratio y. Let's find out the multiple ratios different of different kinds, different types, so you can easily understand how to find the ratio. It's 2 and 3. It means the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 3. And you want to find their ratio. Simple is 2 is to 3. And in case you want to find y ratio x then it is also easier it will be 3 ratio 2 now note from here that 3 ratio 2 is not equal to 3 ratio 2 for example in the next example we have 1 here and 2 here x ratio y will be 1 ratio 2 and yet y ratio x will be 2 ratio 1 it means in this case in the first case, for every value, for every one value of uh, x, uh, y has a double the value of y, x. For every uh, uh, two values of y, we have a single value of x. Okay. Another example is three and four 
x ratio y will be 3 ratio 4 and this will be 4 ratio 3 and then another example is is 5 ratio 7 then it will be 5 ratio 7 or 7 ratio 5 so it is clear from here that x ratio y is not equal to y ratio x that is 2 ratio 3 is not equal to 3 ratio 2 1 ratio 2 is not equal to 2 ratio 1 that means order matters in ratio in ratio so that's, that's for all from the uh, concept of ratio hopefully we have uh, got the proper concept about the ratios, its definition and how it is applied in the daily life. Thank you.